okay <clears throat> so there is you can you can notice there is a detail that is coming out as a lip so that is what we are going to do next we we'll select this top piece and we go to the side view in our wireframe mode so it's starting from somewhere here okay and it ends here so we need to have a cut so either we push this slightly yeah and then should be good all right so what i would like to do is Control R and then click to adjust something like this. Go to the face selection. So this is what I have to select. Shift click, shift click. Okay. And now press E to extrude it out slightly. If we give the smoothness, let's come here add modifier and let's add the subdivision surface okay let's add one more level two and then uh, what i would like to do is click this so i don't see the final result in the edit mode okay so when i press the edit that is the tab key so i see the original shape okay when i come out i can see the final result all right so right away i can see i need to add detail here so we can control the shape a little bit better so while in the edit mode and you can make sure you can also check whether we are in edit mode or not you can see the icon list is longer when you come out of the edit mode it is much less collapsed okay let's press the control r and then we can add some detail come out it's already getting better you can do one more here and then you can just give it equal and let's continue and add detail and then add the same thing over here so you can select in the wireframe mode okay go to the top view and then just press g and move it in we don't have to remember the axis we can just move the mouse in the direction we want and we can press the middle mouse button and then it will give us the restriction press g to move in this direction press the middle mouse button so it will snap to the axis whichever axis it is fine okay so now we need to control this shape even much even better more detailing like so okay and let's see how this is coming we can add more division so control r we can add it here and then we can add one more here the shape is getting better and now here in the reference image uh, in our case it's very it's smooth in the reference image it has a little bit of a, a tightening so the way we can do it is alt click so it will select all of the points in this uh, in the circular fashion okay in that loop and what i can do is press ctrl b to bevel it so basically i'm adding more converting this one set of edge loop into two if i use my mouse wheel up and down i can add more divisions to it so we can add manually one more point and alt click and then press g g two times and it will just slide and then same thing will slide in now we have more of a tightening okay fine we will continue and we will apply much more subdivision to this part as well let's add and see the funny result okay we will add one more level and then uncheck 
and uh, click this so now we can do the same thing is keep on adding detail control R so we don't want in this direction bring the mouse over here so it will change so just click and then we can position it okay and then press tab to see the result fine so we need to add from this angle to hold the shape a little bit better again we'll repeat the process press tab and see the result it is getting better we need to control the shape from the bottom for both the both sides front and back so just bring it down and then do the same thing and bring it down okay it's getting better fine this part <clears throat> we need to have more control more tightening so let's just bring it over here okay and i would like to bring one more up one more level here just a little bit press gg to bring it closer select this one alt click gg to bring it in the center slightly okay and then if i scale it down slightly we can get this effect yeah a little bit of a groove effect over there okay we can of course enhance it scale it down more and add more to this yeah but you get the idea fine so we will move on and we can add this the detail that's very simple all we need is to create you guessed it we will create a uv sphere okay we can reduce the size we can reduce the segments maybe 12 and then from our right right view i can just position it and then scale it down so this is how it is go to the front view and we can bring it out slightly like this scaling is not need uh, rotation is not needed and then what we can do is scale it in the x just to reduce that and there's one more so press shift d to duplicate and then we bring it here and then we do it again bring it here and let's double check the position of it okay and i think that's it so i need to tighten up this corner as well so let's add from this side and let's do something from this side as well okay just this piece remaining let me quickly add subdivision to it and we will move on to the next step funny two levels okay so the way i would like to do is is select all from the edge mode and then press ctrl b good now all we need to do is position this and mirror this on the other side okay i don't like this is where this is really bulky okay let me fix this okay so after this side is complete we will duplicate this on the other side and finish up the remaining of this armchair thank you very much